Now a lot of people asking me online whether um, whether the BQ H2 extruder can handle the pace. Uh, in my mind, um, I have uh, been using a high volume mosquito hind on this Tronxy uh, X5 SA Pro machine, which is a Core XY machine. And I guess what's really important to, to point out here is that um, at the moment this Big UH2 is running at about 95 millimetres a second without any acceleration turned on. And it's also doing it with a 0.8 nozzle, which is twice as wide in both directions as a 0.4 nozzle. So it, volumetrically it's, it's spewing out an awful lot of material. Now my filament is wet so you'll see some pretty uh, terrible corners and I really need to clean this bed plate too but I just had to mash out a file uh, for a mate in a hurry. Um, so down towards the bottom of the print probably doesn't look so great but I have to say um, at a, at a 0.5 layer height with a 0.8 nozzle in even running at 95 millimetres a second it's, um, it's really holding up well. I've used a laser non-contact thermometer on the motor uh, when I was running the last of these, I've got print about a dozen of them, and the temperature was coming in at around 55 degrees Celsius, and if I, I put my hand on it uh, or tip my finger, it's just getting towards that pain threshold, which um, anyone who makes espresso coffee and a cappuccino will know 55 to 60 starts to register on your hand as just being uh, that pain threshold. So I'm confident that um, the temperatures are accurate. The reason for mentioning that is perhaps um, this extruder has an unusual geared setup. It runs on a geared uh, sun and planet ratio, so it's going to be working a lot harder and faster than a standard uh, 1.7 inch uh, stepper motor <coughs> on uh, a number of other extruder formats. So it's got a chance to get a lot hotter compared to those, even though it's a lot lighter. So I guess what's important to me then is if, if we're running in that mid 50 degrees Celsius range, uh, the Curie temperature or the, the temperature at which magnets start to lose, their magnetism is still well above that. I'm unaware whether these guys are using sort of 80 degree magnets or, or even 90 degree Celsius magnets in these little stepper motors. But even if they aren't, I'm still well, well off that. Um, I've also got the, the fan shroud foot off the 50 millimeter fan at the moment just so that you can see what's going on and running pet G um, I tend to just turn that off anyway if I'm running functional models that don't have to look pretty. This is actually a painting mask uh, for a military vehicle that goes over a, a plug and, and it stops paint being applied to the hull of a, a ballistic vehicle. Hopefully that helps and uh, if you've got any questions feel free to shoot me a PM. Cheers.